Hello, my students, grade five. How are you today? Today we are going to complete our discussion about unit four, read to lead. Lesson two, grammar, speaking, and writing. Let's talk about the best simple tense. What did you do yesterday? I cooked. I ate ice cream. I play tennis. The past is simple tense has regular verbs and irregular verbs. Irregular verbs, they are verbs which end with ed letters like rule, ruled, work, worked, showed, showed, spell, spelled, thank, thanked, honor, honored, published, published. But irregular verbs, they are verbs which memorize or which we must memorize them in our mind very well, like go, went, have, has, had, give, gave, feel, felt, find, found, became, choose, chose, choose, chose. Okay? Here, let's choose the right answer. Number one, Sarah to buy a storybook yesterday wanted because we have the keyword for the best simple tense right here yesterday number two Amal her sister with her homework last night so we are going to choose helped number three Ali a new book for his friend last week bought a new book number four the children very pleased uh, the party last Friday the children felt very pleased at the party last Friday to tell a story use these words we have our sequence words here we must use them when we want to write a paragraph about something to arrange our events or to arrange our ideas we have the word first, next, then after that, and finally. We use these words to arrange our ideas about something. Let's reorder the events of the story using first, next, after that, finally. First, Sarah saw Aunt Yasmin's favorite book. Next, they looked for an answer. After that, they found him buying a book. Finally, Aunt Yasmin was pleased with an answer's present. So we use first, next, after that, and finally to arrange our events or our ideas. Here we have a writing task. Before you write, have you ever visited a book fair? Yes, I visited a book fair three times. How about you? Have you ever visited a book fair? After that, Fill in the following story map. Use the story map to write your story about today at the book fair. The following idea box. The following idea box may help you. Idea box here contains three ideas. Where you went and when. Things you did there. How you felt by the end of the day. The topic sentence A day at the book fair. First, uh, we found a lot of books. Next, we chose some good books. After that, we 
bought those good books. Finally, we delightedly went home. Here, match the adjectives to their opposites. Match the adjectives to their opposites. Easy, difficult, young, old, interesting, boring, dangerous, safe, short, tall. Okay? After that, we are going to study to and enough. Let's watch this video, then I will ask you some questions. Two or enough. James, James is a young, is a boy. young boy. He is, he is too, too young, young to drive, to drive a, car. a car. He, he isn't, isn't old, enough old enough to drive, to drive a car. A car. Freezing, freezing cold. cold. It's too it's cold, too cold to, swim to swim at the beach. At the beach. It's, not it's not warm enough, warm to, enough go swimming. to go swimming. <laughs> the, giant the giant is, is too, big too big to ride the horse. Ride the horse. This, this dwarf. dwarf is very, very short. short. He, is he is too short, too short to, play to play basketball. He isn't, he isn't tall, tall enough, enough to play to basketball. Play basketball. This, guy this guy is weak. Is weak. He isn't, he isn't strong, strong enough, enough to lift the, to weights. Lift the weights. He is, he is too, weak too weak to lift the, to weights. Lift the weights. This man, this man is, is poor. poor. He, isn't he isn't rich, rich enough, enough, enough to buy a Ferrari. To buy a Ferrari. He is, he too, is poor too poor to buy a Ferrari. Buy a Ferrari. After we listen to this video, let's ask you some questions. Oral discussion based on the previous video. Can James drive a car? No. Why? Because he is too young. Can they go swimming? No. Why? Because it's too cold. You must note that. You must note that. Two plus the adjective. The adjective plus enough. So two comes before the adjectives. But enough comes after the adjectives. For example, too scary, too easy, too boring too short. Funny enough, difficult enough, interesting enough, tall enough. Here two comes before the adjectives, but here enough comes after the adjectives. 
For example, the tea is too hot. The tea is too hot. It isn't cool enough. It isn't cool enough. This is too dangerous. This is too dangerous. It isn't safe enough. It isn't safe enough. The trousers are they aren't too small. Let's write two and enough, which example we are going to put two and which example we are going to put enough. Oh, this is too. The trousers are too big. They aren't small enough. Okay? Too enough. The trousers are too. They aren't enough. The trousers are small. Are too small. Yes, excellent. They aren't big enough. They aren't big enough. Two and enough. This is two. It's funny enough. It isn't funny enough. This is too scary. It isn't funny enough. So now we know that two comes before the adjectives, but enough comes after the adjectives. Complete using two or enough. Let's complete these spaces in these examples right here. Number one. Sarah is young to watch scary movies. Sarah is too young. Number two. The street isn't safe enough to play football. Excellent. Number three. Is it warm enough to go to the beach today? Number four, Nasser is too kind. He always helps his family. Do you do, do you do enough exercise every day? Number six, you, your handwriting isn't clear enough to read. Number seven, this place is too noisy. I can't study here. Number eight. Is he tall enough to play basketball? Okay. Now the time for speaking. Grammar. I think this storybook is too scary. It isn't interesting enough. How about you? Here let's using the, using the words in the box. Tell your friends what you think about the book. We have the word scary, storybook, science, sports, information, dictionaries, difficult, funny, old, useful, short, exciting, interesting, and long. I think this storybook is too scary. It isn't funny enough. I think science books are too interesting. They aren't boring. I think dictionaries are too useful. What about you? Here, this is our spelling. The sound fa can be written in different forms as fa in flowers, fa bh in photo, and o u g h fa in enough. Read aloud those words: enough, cough, rough, tough. So sometimes we can find some words has o u g h letters. They we call or we pronounce them fat, like enough, cough, rough, tough. Fill in the missing letters. Fatten had a bad cough. Hair father phoned the doctor to two days. She felt well.
Her friends bought her a nice gift. It was a photo frame. She was flying with happiness. She couldn't thank them enough. Fa Fa BH we can pronounce them fa too like photo and o u g h these letters we can pronounce them to fa like cough football frog dolphin elephant enough Our workbook page 28 read the dialogue let's read the dialogue between Dana and Mona then complete yesterday I went to the bookshop I went to the bookshop to look for a book about a famous Muslim scientist but I couldn't find any why don't we go to the school library that's a good idea let's go good morning we are looking for a book we are looking for a book for Dana's project good morning that's good morning what's the project about it's a science project look for it on the shelf in the science corner look for it on the first shelf in the science corner how about this book no I mustn't choose this book it's too difficult it isn't easy enough you are right we must choose a good book after that after that write sentences using would and wouldn't the first one is written number one I would like this dishdasha it's comfortable I wouldn't like this shirt it's too small number two I would like this sandwich it's delicious it's delicious I wouldn't like this sandwich it is salty number three I would like this book it's interesting I wouldn't like this book it is boring thank you my students and I wish you all the best and a good time and see you in the next time thank you goodbye